Yo yo what's up ladies and gentlemen this is Dimash and AK Bob right listen an old video of Nigerian record label owner uh Naira Mali at surface. You listen to our music? Yes, but uh I listen to all the old ones. I used to listen to all the old ones. I listen to these new ones that's coming out. There's like um a lot of new Ghanaian artists that's actually coming up that's serious. And there's um, some of them that I'm actually trying to sign, if I can sign them. I think they're signed already, you know. I'm looking at a couple of young artists that I'm actually trying to sign. Really, who? really trying like, to. like who? Ah, uh, if they're already signed, I don't think... No, no, I don't mind. I know, but I don't think I should say the name because if they're already, if they're already signed, I don't get them, you know what I mean? Oh, no, no, no. Just for... Okay, uh, what's the name again? Okay. <laughs> Last, last me, last me, yeah, yeah, okay. Really hard. I think he has a, too much. It's, it's hard, it's hard. And a couple of others, I, I got a screenshot on my phone, okay. On Insta, okay. I don't think anybody's looking at Wow, last, the last me. minute kid is really good, you know, like, yeah, sharp kid, yeah. sharp kid. Yo, yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Dimash and AK Bob, right? Listen, an old video of Nigerian record label owner, uh, Naira Mali has surfaced in which he was heard in the studios of Pitch FM expressing interest to sign a Ghanaian superstar named Last Mate. And following the tragic death of Mobat, we are now beginning to actually see what is happening in that record label. Ghanaians are very thankful saying the prayer that Last Mate dodged a bullet <laughs> because Naira Mali has been reportedly involved in the untimely departure of what? Mobat. Imagine, you see, this last mid guy, he was already under a record label, Kiwas record label, highly spiritual. But it didn't take long for that contract to run out, and he's currently without a label. Imagine last mid make the biggest mistake of joining Naira Mali's record label by now <laughs> Naira Mali <laughs> imagine if this could have, listen Mobad could have actually been last minute you understand this is what he talks about the Friday hit maker is currently without a label you understand and we understand like what is going on over there in that Malian record label it's just a lot of bullying harassment I mean gang tax doing things that are just unhealthy for musicians so we thank God for uh, last miss life because what happened to Mobat this could have been last miss last miss <laughs> Hey, sometimes these things happen and you don't take your time and you just chase running after record labels you know the grass sometimes not greener anywhere so wherever you are you just have to be thankful for that but yes that's the latest news Nairo Mali wanted to sign mob I mean wanted to sign last month but it appeared last minute dodge a bullet a bullet you understand <laughs> let me know what you think uh, it's not confirmed but so far there are several videos of this guy openly threatening to just eliminate that guy so as far as that guy is dead once he's dead probably he should be investigated do you understand but yeah it just goes on to teach you guys that sometimes got to look before you leap because even though last minute is in Ghana imagine he Mobat has been trending on I mean X formerly known as Twitter since the musicians death on Tuesday emotions are running high some tributes have suggested that the singer he was bullied for a long time in the music industry even including threats from his former record label owned by Naira Mali so the hashtag is justice for Mobad it has been trending on X formerly known as Twitter 
since the musician passed away on 12 September. So as emotions continue to rise, I mean like emotions are rising high, tributes keep pouring in. Uh, we just hope that this outrage will lead to something positive because Naira Mali, he has been, I mean, being the, the, the man, the, the man, I mean, the, the, who, who instigated I mean, the attacks against Mobat is Naira Mali. He had a feud with the lead singer after he split from his uh, Malian records label. Even Mal himself also called for a thorough investigation into the matter. And he, 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 but this, this guy, he don't be correct. If Naja allowed this guy to just not go to prison, <laughs> yeah, how, how do you just kill talent like this? Because someone leaves your record label, you, you think you can do away with him. Why? This was someone who was married, had a five month old son, so you just made someone fatherless for no reason because of your selfish interest. He began making his name since 2019 because of uh, his, his tweet relatable lyrics. You know, fans loved Mubat's distinct, I mean, a baritone voice. He was best known for KPK. Uh, which he featured uh, Kesh and Naira Mali, Lil Kesh and Naira Mali. So, Mobad was with the Malian Records for about two years, helping it live up to its reputation for signing rebellious non conformists when his Lagos home was raided by, I mean, anti anti drug enforcement agents in 2022. So, that Mobad guy and other musicians. At that time, they were found in possession of what? Um, some illicit, illicit drugs. And the M, like, such as, I mean, cannabis and other things, but they were not charged. So after falling out with the, the Malian records, uh, he, alle he alleged that his stores were being, uh, his stores were being uh, deliberately sabotaged, sometimes even cancelled at the last minute by organizers. So in June, Mobad filed a petition with police in Lagos, alleging that uh, Sam Larry, Samson Balugu, <laughs> that guy, he's a music promoter known as Sam Larry, had led a group of armed men to interrupt a video shoot. So Mobad was allegedly assaulted and some of his equipment were destroyed so uh, Sam Larry denied the accusation of the police and he's saying that Mobad never followed through with the K 